Welcome to Vintage Blend Studio. Come and create with me. Hi guys, it's Susanna Easdale here. Um, I'm back with another uh, Mission Inspiration art journal. Um, I'll read through the list as we go along. The first one is cover your page with tissue, text or newsprint. So I've already covered it in um, a paper that I got from, um, it's called Vintage Memories. And it's called, was it by... DCWV and then the second um, step is add a thin coat of spritzed ink um, or colour so I've got spritzed ink um, which I use for my brushes and I just did it in the um, a brown colour and an orange colour and now I'm going over it with um, barn door from Distress Inks to sort of add a little bit of colour to it the three colours that they are encouraging us to use is brown, red and orange. So that's why I've got the brown and the red and the orange. You can't really see the orange, it's sort of not really standing out. Um, the Mission Inspiration is by another YouTuber, um, Mike Deacon. So you can find him on Mike Deacon Art or on YouTube um, and have a look at the Mission Inspiration. They're a lot of fun, they give you prompts on what to do. Um, and the third one is add tinted texture paste through a stencil. So I tinted it with um, using the brushos, my homemade brushos ink spray in the orange colour. And I think I might have added a little bit of red to it with barn door a bit later on. And this texture paste is by Anne Griffin. Was it Anna Griffin? And it's by Culture Creations. There you go. So, but you can just get them at your local craft sh craft shop. Most places have them. And the stencil I'm using is from Kazar Craft. So, um, just make creating a little place for my um, my girl to be sitting, the one that you saw at the start. Um, it's a bit of a, st a steampunk theme in this uh, mission inspiration uh, for the month of February more on the other side you can't really see much of the color it is sort of a bit darker in real life turns out quite nice but when because I've got the uh, the texture paste on there it, you have to put stronger glue because it's got a bit of a texture to it I've got to let it dry or bring out the blow dry clean up me mess It's quite sticky, this stuff. I think the next step is colour string or twine and then add to the page. So I'm colouring it, but I'm putting it aside because I'm going to be using it um, with the picture a bit later on. So I'm colouring it, but it needs to, to dry. So... That's also part of um, step seven is add metallic elements, either in paint, foil or ink or watercolour. So this is a um, folk art paint and it's called Gold Inca, I think. Um, so I put it aside to dry. I think I end up getting the blow dry on it just to dry it faster. So add one or more steampunk style element for your focal point. This is a book by um, Jasmine Beckett Griffith. It's a colouring book and the uh, one I'm using is uh, what I've done here. I've coloured it in um, earlier because it would have taken too long in Jane Davenport watercolours and um, also went over in colouring pencils. So um, the metallic element I used um, was the Jane Davenport, mat, you know, the middle, um, was it Alchemy, I think, and also a metal, like a, oh, blabbering, the um, gold pen. This, I got inspired by this page, this is Alice, Alice in Wonderland, so I'm using um, Kazar Craft. Factory 42, it's um, got a lot of steampunk style um, papers in there, which I thought was quite appropriate for it. 
I really love her artwork and the fact that it's in a, a colouring book. It's open for people to use, but I still need to um, say who it's by. So what I'm doing here is um, just colouring and because compared to the rest of the page they're a bit light so I just use the distress inks and then also some of my spritz spray just to make it a bit darker and then I'm doing the vintage photo distress ink on the edge of it as well just to blend it all a bit in have to end up getting a little bit more I love um, I love Jasmine Beckett Griffith artwork. It's they they she's known for these big eyed um, girls, um, and just in the pictures that you saw that I already coloured in, uh, they're really 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 cute. She does a good job. She's on Pinterest, or if you Google her name, you'll you'll get to see some of the artwork. Um, there's even people on YouTube that just colour in her books. So she's quite popular. Cleaning up the mess. I wanted to have it not too um, color, you know, like still being able to see a little bit of the color through, just sort of bit distressed look. Move this out of the way. Managed to grab a cof coffee in the meantime too. <laughs> I'm, put in the, I'm able to glue this on with um, the glue stick because it's not on um, where the texture paste is but everything else needs to go in with some PVA glue because of the texture paste it's hard to glue over so I've got it there and you get you only end up seeing a little bit of it in the end but um, at least it was part of the process that's what happens when you do um, these things you sort of becomes a life of its own in towards the end adding all the prompts I love the little dragon that she um she drew too it's actually a sort of like a clockwork mechanical type dragon um, and I used um, the gold watercolor paint on that as well it came up really good really cute and attached to the picture is uh, hanging over the arm is um, a key which is where I can't I don't know if you can see it but I've attached the string through the loops in the top of the um, yeah here we go there it is so um, I attached the gold string on there which I'm going to put the butterfly on and the butterfly is going to be carrying off the key and when I put my quote down um, you'll be able to relate to the why the key is there the quote I'm going to put down is you can't put back the clock but you can wind it up again so the key is for winding up the clocks it happens to be part of the picture that she's drawn but I thought it needs a reason for being there so that's how I incorporated my bit of twine and that got pretty messy using craft glue because it had to be put down and it, um, trying to get the glue off my fingers <laughs> I painted the butterfly in the three colours that we had um, in the brown, red and orange. I thought I've got sort of brown, red and orange through it but I thought I'll paint that in specific the specific colours that we um, were prompted to use so that at least that element is there in the one place. Because I haven't got a great deal of orange in there but I do have the red and the, and the brown. What's the last one? Add a headline or quote or 
phase, which is number six. And seven is the metallic elements, which I've already added in the drag and, and um, in the piece of string, which I made in gold. So I'm putting Distress Ink on um, the border. I think there's one bit that might seem to skip and be a bit funny because I thought I was filming and I wasn't. And then this part I thought I wasn't filming and I was. So um, it might have a bit of a hop. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> so um, yeah, the joys of um, filming stuff. So now the last step is finish with a frame or a border of your choice. So from the um, Kazar Craft Factory 42, they've got a sticker sheet which has got all these cogs and clocks and stuff on there, which is perfect for the steampunk theme. And I put the one on the top and I cut it in half and then the bit that's on the side there, on the left hand side, is um, the bit that I cut off. So um, utilising that, I had to sort of tuck it underneath the dragon. I think I end up cutting it off. There we go. Then I get another another piece. Yeah, because of the gluing the paper down in the beginning, it tends to buckle. You don't notice it that much on the video, but in real life, here's another border that I got. It's of all piping and stuff. It's such a, a cool uh, collection, paper collection, because I've got two boys and I do scrapbooking for boys. I thought, perfect. Make sure I stick it down. It, even though they are stickers, they don't always stick properly, especially when I've taken it off and on a couple of times. That's the saying. You can't put back the clock. But you can um, wind it up again. It's good for us oldies. <laughs> Doing a bit of gold highlighting um, around the clock. Just to make it stand out a bit. And also adding that metallic element again. I really love how this turned out. It's so cute. I love her, um, her art style. But I really enjoyed... Um, watercoloring it in and also I went over it with um, Prismacolor pencils too which sort of brings out the detail here we go I think I'm almost done go around the other one Oh, I've just noticed my little in the corner there. I think there's fan. It's summer here, and so I've got the fan blowing, and I think it's blowing the bottom of the uh, my phone because I use my phone to film, <laughs> and it's blowing the bottom of my phone case. I've just noticed that. <laughs> I have to take note of that for next time. It wasn't sticking down properly. And I date stamp it and sign it. And we are done. But I did, when I bring it up to show you in the camera, I notice that um, the butterfly needs retouching up. So I do that before we go. So if you enjoyed this, um, please like and subscribe. It um, I really appreciate it. And um, maybe you can do a mission inspiration for yourself there's a whole group of us and we really have fun doing it so thank you for watching i really appreciate um, you taking the time out of your day to to watch it bye
Thanks for watching. If this video inspired you, please like and subscribe. Bye!